Hello everyone my dear friends, and welcome to my Golden Screen Evolution YouTube channel. Step into the iconic world of Scarface, and in our Scarface Then and Now video, we take a fascinating journey through time exploring the film's lasting impact. In this video, we will take a closer look at the actors of the movie Scarface. Directed by Brian De Palma, this classic was released in 1983 and left an indelible mark. Come on, hit the subscribe now button. Don't miss new videos every day. Stephen Bauer played the role of Manny Ribera. Manny is Montana's close friend and partner. In the story, Manny is Tony's loyal and trusted friend who, like Tony, is involved in criminal activities, including drug trafficking. Manny Ribera's character is important in the film, and throughout the narrative, Manny remains a loyal ally of Tony, supporting him in his quest for shared wealth and power in the Miami drug trade. Bauer's portrayal of Manny Ribera is notable for its originality and contribution to the overall dynamics of Scarface. The character plays a crucial role in the plot, and Bauer's performance amplifies the film's impact. Born in Cuba in 1956, Stephen Bauer is 67 years old in 2023. Michelle Pfeiffer played the role of Elvira Hancock. Elvira is a glamorous and sophisticated woman who becomes romantically involved with Tony Montana. Elvira is portrayed as a beautiful and ambitious character who, just like Tony, is drawn to a life of wealth and power. Throughout the film, Elvira struggles with Tony's growing interest in the drug trade and the violent nature of his criminal activities. Michelle's performance as Elvira is notable for its portrayal of the complexity of the character and the conflicts she has in her relationship with Tony. Scarface is a crime drama that explores the consequences of a life steeped in power greed and the drug trade. The character of Elvira adds depth to the film, and the trajectory of her character adds to the overall narrative tension and tragedy. Michelle Pfeiffer, born in California in 1958, is 65 years old in 2023. Frank Lopez, played by Robert Loggia, is a Cuban-American drug lord who initially uses Tony Montana. Frank is a key figure in Tony's early rise in the Miami drug trade. He gives Tony a chance to work for him, and Tony quickly rises due to his ruthless and ambitious nature. As the story progresses, conflicts arise between the two. Tony becomes romantically involved with Elvira, who is initially Frank's girlfriend. In addition, Tony's ambition and disregard for Frank's authority lead to a power struggle between the two characters. Eventually, the relationship between Tony and Frank turns violent, and Tony makes an important move to secure his own position in the drug trade. It's safe to say that Frank Lopez's role in the film involves complex power dynamics betrayal and the brutal nature of the drug trade. Born in New York in 1930, Robert Loggia sadly passed away in 2015. Al Pacino played the lead role of Tony Montana. Tony is a Cuban immigrant who rose to power in the Miami drug trade. Al Pacino's role as Tony is one of the most iconic performances in his career. It reflects the character's complex personality including his ambition ruthlessness and eventual downfall caused by his choices. Montana's journey in Scarface is marked by violence, greed, and the search for the American dream making him a memorable and influential character in the crime genre. The film has become a cult classic and is known for its intense and often controversial portrayal of organized crime and the consequences of power Al Pacino's performance in Scarface was widely acclaimed and left a lasting impression on popular culture. Born in New York City in 1940, Al Pacino is 83 years old in 2023. Gina Montana, played by Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, is Tony Montana's younger sister. Gina is a young woman who becomes embroiled in the complex and often dangerous world of her brother's criminal activities. Throughout the film, Gina is shown to have a close and protective relationship with Tony. But as Tony becomes more involved in the drug trade and his behavior becomes increasingly erratic and violent, Tensions are rising within the Montana family. Gina becomes a central figure in one of the film's dramatic and tragic plots. Gina's flow of characters in Scarface is characterized by the challenges and consequences of being associated with Tony's criminal lifestyle. His story contributes to the overall narrative of the film, highlighting the devastating impact of the criminal underworld on the lives of those involved. Born in 1958 in the state of Illinois, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio is 65 years old in 2023. 
Paul Shinar played the role of Alejandro Sosa in the 1983 film Scarface. Alejandro is a fictional character and serves as the main antagonist in the film. Sosa is a Bolivian drug lord who is involved in the drug trade along with Tony Montana. Throughout the film, Sosa is portrayed as a powerful and ruthless figure in the drug world. He initially partners with Tony but later becomes a formidable antagonist. Sosa's character is at the center of the story because he plays a crucial role in the dramatic and violent events that unfold in the story. Shinar's performance contributed to Sosa becoming a memorable and iconic character in the film Scarface. Born in Wisconsin in 1936, Paul Shinar sadly passed away in 1989. Omar Suarez is a character in the film Scarface, portrayed by actor Murray Abraham. Suarez is initially the business partner and right-hand man of Bolivian drug lord Alejandro Sosa. Suarez is involved in the drug trade and acts as a link between Tony Montana and Sosa. Omar Suarez is responsible for introducing Tony to Sosa and facilitating their business deal. It plays an important role in the plot especially in the early stages of Tony's rise in the drug trade. However, as the story progresses, conflicts and betrayals arise, leading to dramatic and violent conflicts. Born in Pennsylvania in 1939, Murray Abraham is 84 years old in 2023. In the movie Scarface, Alberto, played by Mark Margolis, is a character who is hired as an assassin. He is assigned by drug lord Alejandro Sosa to assassinate the protagonist Tony Montana, played by Al Pacino. Alberto is sent to Tony's mansion to eliminate him leading to a dramatic and intense confrontation. This scene is a critical turning point in the film and plays an important role in the overall narrative, adding to the dramatic and tragic elements of Scarface. Mark Margolis, who was born in Philadelphia in 1939, unfortunately passed away in 2023.